incredibly excited about this box for a number of reasons. The biggest being that um, I decided to go with a pastel colour tone. So you're going to get a variety of different coloured um, daisies, and they're different types of daisies too. So the small ones are called Pipolino daisies, uh, these round ones are called Durando daisies, and then this one with like the frilly petals is called Spider daisy. And all of them come from Nevi Farm, which is in Petaluma, so really close to us here. So it's really nice. What we said to them is, give us all of your daisies, we'll buy all of them this week. So we're really excited that we can blend them with lots of fun colours and that this arrangement works perfectly for that. We have ranunculus, so local ranunculus that come from Watsonville. Kumquats, so I thought it would be lovely to have a fruit element, a citrus element in our box. So these have come from Southern California. And then we have bush ivy and ruscus. To start with the bush ivy first, so you might have a couple of pieces that are like branchy pieces on one stem, so just cut them down, and then the goal with this is really to create shape. So we're just trying to cover the perimeter of the vase, it is quite weighty, um, so you're probably going to need to cut it quite short just so that it stays in position and it doesn't flop out. So just bear that in mind. Um, so one to the right side, it's, it's very full, so you'll instantly see how it creates a really nice shape. So one to the right side, left side, and then put one in the back. And then with the brescas, just remove any leaves that fall below the waterline. Give them a cut, and then I think it's nice to use this to complement the shape. So you can put like one on the right side, and then tuck one into the left side. So we're then going to add in our kumquat next. So give it a big branch, like a fresh cut. And then it's nice to just put it at the front of the vase, just so that you can see the citrus pieces, the little oranges in there just popping out. And then finally, so we've got the uh, daisies and then we've got the ranunculus left. And to be honest, you can see that kind of what we're trying to do is just Put all of the colourful elements inside this nest of greenery. Um, so it's, it's kind of really up to you. You do have to play around with these to get them to stay in position, but just give them a fresh cut and then tuck them in between the green leaves. Um, I'm obviously doing this backwards so it's a little bit hard to see where to go, but the idea is, is that we want to blend them around as much as we can. Let me put one over here. These nice um, orangey ones. You can put one maybe at the front like this. A couple at the back like so. You have to fiddle with them a little bit because it's, it's one of those things as soon as you add one the other one starts to move around. Picolino ones that are quite a lot longer and smaller in head. I think with these it's nice to have them on either side because they have a really nice shape to them naturally. So you can use these to help complement the shape a bit. That one just moved. Now my pink one's moved. It's like they're all connected. Our local growers and wishing you a lo lovely and wonderful week.